Hello guys, my name is Raj. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to use scripts in Photoshop. In my example, it is to generate an NFT. So hiding layers and showing layers, but you can use scripts in Photoshop to do anything. So maybe that'd be, that could be helpful for you. Uh, because I wanted to do uh, a lot of actions, I used action reference, which is faster than the DOM tree um, alternative. Let's have a look at what we want to do. Uh, I have this Photoshop uh, project with our lovely Titan dog. So here the Shiba Inu with the quadruped legs. And I have all the layers here neatly prepared. So you can change the background from gold to blue to orange to green. You can change the legs. Maybe the arm. There it is. You have all the layers. Um, let's have a look at the structure. So I want to um, launch a script and then hide or show different layers. So let's say I want this arm. So I need to show the ink layer, this, this specific layer, underscore layer. And I need to ch show the colors. So I can show one of these colors, that is the name of the attribute underscore the name of the color. And then I have a base layer, so be the name of the attribute underscore the base, the base color. In this example, I simplified it and this, you can only have one main color. What do we want to do with the script? We want to hide all the layers and then show specific layers from the attributes. All right, let's see the script. So I'll be um, I'll be using this metadata files. Uh, that is the structure of the Metaplex metadata, and we'll be using the attributes array here. So for example, here we have a background gold the dog breed, the main color, the base color, and then the various Titan parts. And then pattern we, we won't use, but in the final project, I use this one as well. All right, so we're looping through the assets, looping through the attributes, and then showing the, the, the layers. Let's have a look at the script. It starts here, start. We first, uh, reset everything so we'll be hiding all the layers and then just um, showing the groups because the groups need to be activated so we'll be hiding all the layers but just keeping the groups uh, shown so then the script will only have to select the right layers to show and it will work this one this one for example. So let's have a look at this. So it hides all the layers and then it shows the layer sets, so the groups. Good, that's a good start. At the very bottom here. So then we loop through the assets, so asset and then the index. We open the script, we open the JSON and we read the content. Uh, for this, we have this library, JSON, to read the content of the JSON. Then if we have a metadata, we generate um, the NFT. Um, here I put generate Titan, but it would be NFT. I'll probably change that. Generate Titan. You have the metadata, and I added the index as well, because that will be the file name. Uh, what do we want? In Photoshop, every layer has a specific ID. So we need to get that ID, add it to the ID list, and then show all the layers that are in the list. So that's what, what we're going to do. We find the attributes in the metadata. So for, in my case, there's one main color and one base color for NFT. So I'll set them aside. I have this um, function here, get trade value values. So it's another loop. 
to get a specific um, value for an attribute. So here I'm looking for the main color in the in opacity array, the attribute array, and then I'm looking for the base color attribute array, and I'm getting the value here. I have two kind of groups, one with a single layer and some with several layers. Let's have a look at that in the project. For example, the dog breed is just one layer, and I'll get I can get the layer name here. For the left arm, it's several ones. It's the ink layer, and there's two colors. So it's a little more complex. So I separated the, them here. So in this case, for the dog breed in the background, it's just one layer. So I'm getting the attribute name, the ID from this specific layer. And then for the, the Titan bot, so all the rest, I have to get the ink layer, the main color, and the base color. So I'm using this uh, function here, get ID from layer name. So I'm passing the layer name. And then that's where it uses action reference to get the ID. So it loops through the layers, looks for the layer name, and returns the ID. All right. So I'm adding this ID to the ID list. And then at the end, I'm showing all the layers from this ID list. And that's the most efficient way because you're selecting one specific layer from the ID and then you're making that visible. And that's very fast. All right, then let's go back to this. We have shown the layers, then we're saving the asset. Saving, it's just here. We determine a file. So a file path that I pass in here in assets, a file name, and then it saves it. It's document.saveAs. There it is. So let's try it. I'm opening Photoshop and run file script, browse, and then I'm selecting my script Photoshop. So it, there's this first phase where it's going to hide everything, hide every layer, and then show only the groups. And then you would go through the metadata and then show only the layers that I need. If you go back to the folder, you would add the files here in the assets folder. You saw at the end, that's the, the reset. Um, in the script at the end, there's a reset. So it ends up with hide all the layers from the ID list. So we're back to the initial position where everything is hidden except the groups. And here we can see it generated the PNG with the correct um, bring it to the side with the correct attributes. So the background is gold, the dog is a Shiba Inu, the main color orange base carbon, there's two different arms, the mechanical, the turbo cannon, etc, etc. And then for the second one, same thing, so background green, the main color blue, and then the dog, a pug, and then all the correct attributes for the titan there it is so you only have uh, you only need the exist the existing asset then you find the name in photoshop layers and then you show it pretty easy right so i'll be sharing this uh, this script on github so you can use that if you like so the most important thing is in photoshop not to have two layers that are the same name um, each name should be unique so it's easy for the script to find. Here's how it shows on the final project. Uh, here you can see it's a little more complex. There's two main colors. There's a pattern. Uh, but basically, I use the same technique to, to render a thousand Titan dogs. 
Uh, there will be characters for play to earn game that I'm currently developing. Um, so if you're interested to do site Titan Dogs of IO and get one of your own, um, there's a few examples here of all the different variations, even three main colors here. Uh, the utility, the roadmap, and uh, here are a couple links. You'll find in the description the GitHub link for this script. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or reach me on the Titan Dogs Discord server. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.